Hello and welcome to My People Patterns. My name is Oliver and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist here in West Hollywood, California. I am so excited to be able to bring you my first book. It is a workbook and journal for teenagers called Myself. I've been working with families and teenagers for all of my career actually. I started off as a school-based counsellor down the road and uh, moved into residential treatment where I worked with teenagers and their families. The idea for this book really came from my background in working with teenagers, families and parents. I would hear pretty often parents ask me if their child or teenager was getting the tools and skills that they needed to thrive. Obviously this is coming from a really sort of concerned and caring place and um, parents just want the best for their kids. Unfortunately, there isn't a sort of universally agreed upon um, decision on what a skill or a tool is. So it means a lot of different things to different people. This is the book that I really wish I'd written while I was running a treatment center because it covers so many different topics of life that are so um, important for teenagers. I would have given every client that came in and their parents a copy of this because I think the skills and tools in here, I found myself I am teaching and explaining over and over again. The skills and tools in this journal cover um, eight different categories of um, life, ranging from anxiety to conflict to motivation and success. Covering such a range of interests I think is going to keep a teenager more engaged and more interested in uh, following through with this. Every week there is a section focused on um, priorities and I think that's so important for teenagers to be able to learn how to categorize what is important for the week ahead. This is all part of executive functioning and about the way that we can uh, imagine what the future is going to be look like and make decisions based on how we think things are going to go. That's such a useful skill and um, I really think that doing this weekly is going to be helpful. Another part of the journal focuses on cultivating a practice of gratitude which I'm a big fan of because I've read studies and research that really shows how it can transform um, not only your mind and your outlook on life, but also uh, relationships. So one of my favorite groups that I created and ran for a long time was called the Vulnerability Group. And it was on a Friday night by the fire pit outside. And I would come up with these very hard hitting, um, intimate, vulnerable questions, and some of which ended up in this book. Now that group got a lot of mixed reactions, some, some clients loved it, some hated it, um, but I tell you the work that those clients did in that group was so inspiring, so moving. Um, if, if the questions in this journal get a fraction of the result as they did in vulnerability group, then I think we've got something good here.